What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a good day so far. Um, so as far as being a little MIA on the YouTube uploads, um, the Road to Pro series is still happening. I know I have episode one up. Episode two will be coming within like the next day or two. Um, my videographer, his computer got fried and then he had to order a new one. So we're going through the process of that. But basically just this video is going to be kind of some life updates. I moved into a new apartment, which I'm going to show you guys right now. And then we're also just going to talk about some things just about the fitness community in general. So walk in. This is where we do our check-ins at from Mr. Nick Tong. We got our kitchen here. Tyree's room, it's one of my buddies. Got the living room here, little spin bike, TV, the mirror, which this is where it's got some good lighting. I'm all pale, but you can see we got striations coming in, baby. Hit a new low this morning of 247.8. And then we're gonna go to my room, got my bed. Got some stuff we got to put away there still. Got the little whiteboard. TV. Media stand. Then we got the bathroom. Double sink, double mirror. Big ass shower. And then we've got our closet. Very nice. So, as far as that goes, um, like I said, just like some life updates, what's been going on. I moved, moving's done, that's out of the way. Um, I'm just gonna kinda talk about what the plan is for the next couple of weeks, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so, um, like I said, moving to a new place, which I'm very thankful for. Um, it's a lot bigger space than I had before, which is nice because there's just room to like move around versus in a one bedroom. Um, but yeah, as far as uploading goes, you guys, like I said, I'm going to be doing one video a week for the Road to Pro series. Episode one's already up. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch it right now. There is a playlist for it. It's just says Road to Pro. Um, but with that being said, like I said, episode two will be live here very shortly. I'm pretty sure my uh, videographer his computer gets in today, he's gonna get cracking on that video and I'll actually have it uploaded tomorrow. Cause this video is going up tonight, Monday the 3rd. Um, so the new Road to Pro video should be live Tuesday the 4th on July 4th, which will be perfect. Um, but after that, you guys, uploads will be consistent. This week we're gonna film probably on Friday, then that video will be uploaded Saturday night or on Sunday. I did have Sunday uploads of, um, I made it so that it would be Sunday uploads every single Sunday. But if we're filming on like a Saturday and he gets it done Saturday, I can have it uploaded Saturday night. I will, but I think for the time being, we're just going to shoot for Sunday uploads. I'm going to shoot for Sunday night every night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, 5 p.m. Eastern time every single Sunday. New Road to Pro series will be uploaded. But then as we get you know closer down the line, I'll be doing two videos a week, more than likely. Um, come around peak week, there's gonna be videos almost every single day being uploaded, just like for the show, just kind of showing what's going on behind the scenes, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited for the For the Road to Pro series, for you guys to kind of see like just behind the scenes, what goes on, just me kind of talking to you guys about you know how prep is, what to expect. Um, kind of like the mental side of things because a lot of people don't talk about it. And I think it's really important to talk about that kind of stuff because a lot of, like, I mean, bodybuilding in general is, you know, it's more mental than it is physical at the end of the day. Even though we put our bodies through a lot physically, there is a mental toll that it does take on us. And a lot of people don't talk about that. And I definitely want to be transparent, open with you guys about that. Just kind of letting you know, like, how I'm feeling, where my head's at, because like I have bad days, you know, I don't always have good days. There's days where I wake up, I'm like, I don't want to go train. I don't want to go do my cardio, that kind of stuff. And it definitely happens, especially towards the end of a prep, when you're just tired, you're hungry, you're depleted, all this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just kind of giving you guys like the full inside scoop on like how prep is, you know, how it goes, all that kind of stuff. 
Also, new Iron Apple shirt, guys. These are dropping very soon. It's called the Circle of Greatness tee. It's got the circle in the front and then circle on the back. But there's three different colors dropping. There's this cream color along with a slight blue and a black. So stay tuned for those. Use code Danilo to support your boy at checkout. It saves you guys 10%. The next thing that I kind of wanted to talk about um, is, I mean, it's kind of what everyone's talking about right now, is with the passing of Joe Linder. Um, it's just very, this one kind of shocked a lot more than others, like in the past. We've had a lot of people pass within the past like five years in the fitness industry, but I think this one was definitely like one of the ones where it was like, whoa, like, why, like, how, like, why did this happen? Um, because, I mean, Joe was only 30, and on top of that, he got his blood work done constantly, he kept his diet, and, like, I mean, he, all around, if you looked at his lifestyle, he was very on top of everything, probably more than anyone in this industry. He would rarely go off his diet, he would constantly get his blood work done, his blood work looked really good, he also talked about coming off a lot of the hard gear that he was taking. Um, you know, a while back he tried to come off completely, but his levels couldn't really return back to normal, his testosterone, so he went on TRT, which at the end of the day, TRT really isn't bad, especially if you're staying up on your blood work, you're donating blood, you're keeping your dose low. Um, like whenever I do a cruising dose, guys, and I'm not blasting in like an off-season setting or a prep, I do 200 milligrams, and honestly, I might even start to taper that down to like 175, 150, because at the end of the day, 200 is really kind of like the highest you should go with a like quote-unquote TRT or cruise dose, which I'm not sure what Joe is doing. I don't know if he was doing 200, 150, that kind of stuff, but um, all I know is that from hearing from multiple sources and seeing what I saw and seeing him talk about it, he did, you know, he really came off a lot of the hard shit because he, he still stayed pretty lean year round, but like a couple years ago when he, when he was first coming on the scene, he would be like peeled, peeled year round. Um, and like I said, he was still lean year round, like in the past year or two, but it wasn't like it was before where it was like absolutely peeled like shredded out of his mind. Um, so a lot of, the, one of the things which people weren't talking about, I did a video on my Instagram responding to someone about this. Um, they, some people are failing to mention that Joe had just gotten four vaccinations and he talked about this on Bradley Martin's podcast. He recently got four vaccinations, his blood work was fine. He got these vaccinations, did his blood work, and they found a lot of heavy metals in his blood. And his doctor kind of was like, this isn't like good, like we need to get these out. They said they did some kind of, I don't know the exact words, but they did some kind of trans, like not transfusion, they did something about his blood, like to try and get the heavy metals out, almost like a detox. And I honestly do think that kind of contributed to what happened, but on top of that, Joe's aunt passed away four years ago from the same exact thing, um, from the brain aneurysm. And the thing is, you guys, with the blood clot, this can happen to anyone. And this is why it really pisses me off. And it, it, it it's not that it pisses me off. It just makes me like very like, obviously it makes me mad, but it, it's just very upsetting and distasteful to see when people automatically are like, it's the gear, it's the gear, it's the gear. Or like people were like, how'd he die? And before anyone even knew, people were like, heart attack, heart attack, cause he's blasting gear, this, this, and that. And it's just like, people are so quick to assume and so quick to judge. And I know it's never gonna change, but it's just really gross to see that kind of stuff happen. Especially when people literally don't even know what happened and they're just assuming at the end of the day. But I'm just here to say that, like I said, blood clots can really happen to anyone at any given time. That's why it's kind of like a silent killer because you really don't know if you have one unless you get some kind of scan done and they catch it early and they're like, hey, like it looks like you have a blood clot here. We're going to try and break it up and get it out. Um, but he did have a pain um, three days prior in his neck. He was having some kind of dull, sharp pain in his neck that he was complaining about to his buddies. And then apparently it moved up to his head and gave him a really bad headache 
and then that's when things kind of happen. So if you guys ever have kind of a nagging pain for more than 24 hours, especially around your neck or your head region, left arm too, um, definitely go get it checked out just because it, it might be a lot more serious than you think. But the moral of the story here, you guys, is you really don't know when your last day is. And I think this kind of opened up a lot, of people, a lot of people's eyes because, again, blood clots are something that can happen to anyone at any given time. And you really don't know when it's going to happen unless you go and get something scanned and it's like, hey, there's a blood clot here. And you're like, oh shit, like, we need to get rid of that. So at the end of the day, you guys, live every day to your fullest. Do what makes you happy. Like don't, don't listen to other people and don't let other people judge you on what you want to do. If something makes you happy, go and do it. Whatever passions you guys have, go and pursue those passions. Because again, you really do not know when your last day is and you need to do what makes you happy. If you guys hate the job that you're at and you have the like ability to quit, and you're gonna be okay, do it. it. Like Life is so, it's not worth sitting and complaining and being complacent with where you're at. Like it's really not. Life's about going and doing things that make you happy. Having the job of your dreams. You know, having really good close friends to be with. Family, just all this stuff. It's like, cause at the end of the day, when it's our time, we don't take anything with us. Like when it's our time, all of, it, all of this stuff that's in this apartment, this is like, this doesn't come with it like me. It's not gonna come with me. The clothes, they're not gonna come with me. It's like nothing's gonna come with you. The money, none of that's gonna come with you. So whatever makes you happy at the end of the day, go and do it, you guys, because you do not know when the last day is gonna be. Enjoy, live life to the fullest, treat people with respect, and just overall be a good person. I really do think this opened up a lot of people's eyes to the fact that they really should be grateful for where they're at. And I do get caught up sometimes with myself seeing, or just like something will happen and I'm just like, why did this happen to me? Like, this is so annoying, but I'm kind of in the mindset now of someone always has it worse. Like I have a roof over my head. I have food in my stomach. I have clean water to drink. I have clean clothes to wear. I have nothing to complain about. So. If you guys ever find yourself in a spot where you're like, man, like this really sucks, like I'm in a really shitty position, I can guarantee you someone has it worse than you do. And remind yourself of that. Be like, you know what? Someone probably has it way worse than I do. At least I can eat food because some people don't have the luxury of that. I think that's kind of the furthest way I deep, deep what? I think that's everything that I have to say, you guys. Um, yeah, it's just life is, time goes by quick. You know, we don't have a lot of time on this earth. Even though like it might seem like we do, time goes by very fast. And you just gotta enjoy every day. Like enjoy every single day. Don't let people get you down. Just have a good time. And that's that. But like I said, you guys, Road to Pro Series will be coming here very soon. Well, it's already here. But episode two will be up here within the next day or two. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys like sit down videos like this, talking and stuff, please do let me know because I will do some more of these throughout prep. Just kind of like filling you guys in because, you know, I like being transparent with you guys. I like showing you guys, you know, when I'm not having a good day, letting you guys know, be like, hey, it's okay. Like, I'm having a shitty day. If anyone else is having a shitty day, I'm there with you. You're not the only one, that kind of thing. So. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Stay tuned with me on there. Um, I'm going to go eat and get ready for the gym. But like I said, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in episode two of the Road to Pro series.